since we have it and i think the position is also good like this is how we want to you know show it so once we are done with this part like how exactly the position is supposed to be and all that then we can apply you know additional css to manipulate it that is whenever we hover over it then only it should show up so how do we do that so there's a simple trick to that we need to select this mode and then add a pseudo class which is hover and when we hover over it then we want to apply the styles of this drop down items all that we selected here okay and in all other cases we will keep the styles as display to none meaning that don't show it at all so uh, i hope you got this idea what we are doing is whenever we have hovered more is hovered we want to apply drop down uh, items immediate class drop down items these styles otherwise it will not be shown at all okay so we save this one and if we go back now if we hover it comes up and if we move out it just goes away okay so this is the idea i hope you got this idea and now um, this was simple right it was very basic but we need to know these concepts in the other way would have been doing this all with javascript which is pretty complicated uh, not complicated i would say but javascript uh, whenever you create something html and css is thousand times faster than you know implementing solutions with javascript so you should try always to stick to html and css to whatever possible extent you can but let's say if for some reason you cannot then you can always implement the same logic with javascript uh, provided you compromise with some of the performance things although for many applications it won't depend unless it is a uh, you know operation heavy or operation intensive application but yeah just try to use as much as html and css possible as possible okay so that was all about this and now in the next video we will move on to uh, you know designing the switch thank you very much